If you have been following me for the past four months, you would know that I had made a promise. I had said that I would be investing $1,000 every month in the Indian stock market using AI. And in today's video, I will show you what all different stocks that I have purchased over time in the last four months and what are their statuses. I will also tell you about the strategy that I am following in order to purchase these stocks. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Shomik Bose and you are watching MT Alpha. Before we move on, I want to really thank my subscribers for their encouraging comments. It is all because of your comments that I have the motivation to create a new video. Few months ago, I had made a video promising that I would be investing $1,000 every month for the next six months using AI. If you haven't seen that, here's the video. And in my previous video, I had shared a whole system that I use in order to choose my stocks. Using that system, I have selected a few stocks and I have bought into them. Today, I'm going to show you the reality of using AI to buy stocks. Please note, I am not an advisor. I'm not a SEBI registered person. I am not a finance guru. I am just an AI engineer who is trying to make the world of AI and finance get combined. And in the process, I'm going to show you what all hurdles I face, what all things I built, and maybe you can learn something new. On my screen over here is my first account. Over here, I have purchased four different stocks, Vikram Solar being one of the largest investments. And as you can see, it is down by a lot. The others on the screen are UDS, Update of Services Limited, MPS Limited, and Galaxy Surfactants. This is my other account. Over here, I have a total of 12 different stocks which I have purchased over time. Vikram Solar being the only one which is an overlap between the accounts. In this particular portfolio, I have a total of 12 stocks. Most of these stocks are small to mid cap stocks. A few, a very handful of them are large cap stocks. If you see, most of them are red. Now let me show you the total reality of my purchases. I have invested a total of 11,83,000 in this account and 4,12,000 in this account. The current value of my portfolio in this account is 11,59,000. I am at a loss of 24,500 rupees. And in this account, the current value is 3,27,000, almost down by 1 lakh. In total, I am down by 1 lakh in the past four months. Now, in such a scenario, what should you do? Well, let us not panic. Let us understand what's going on in the market. Now, if you look at the small cap index, it has corrected by a lot over time in the last three months, right? So in total, at maximum, it had fallen by about 9.5%. And now if you look at it, it is down by about 6.2, 6.3% since the time I have started investing. So compare it with my portfolio. How much has my portfolio fallen? Over here, I have 4.12 lakhs in investment and over here 11.83 which makes it a total of around 15.95 and the current value if you see is a total of 14.86 lakhs which makes the portfolio down by about 6.8 percent so compared to the small cap index the portfolio is still in line now let me talk to you about my strategy so here's the strategy that i am following in order to choose my stocks what you see on my screen, all of them are small and mid cap. And over here, most of them are small and mid cap stocks. But if you pay closer attention, I am not only using small and mid cap stocks, but also I am using large cap stocks in the mix. I am investing a considerable amount to large cap and gold. Why? To hedge my portfolio. If things go south tomorrow, I do not want to completely take the risk and go downhill. Well, as you can see, the large cap stock is rather performing well as compared to all of the small and mid cap ones. If you also pay closer attention over here, I am buying gold ETFs and I'm purchasing gold ETFs in small, small chunks. So you might have a question, show me, is this all that you are investing in? No, I am separately keeping my mutual funds alive. This is all of the risk that I am taking. What you see on my screen is all of the risky investments that I'm doing. I'm rebalancing my portfolio 
and investing some amount of it into these risky stocks. What is the outcome? The outcome is we get to learn whether AI in investing actually works or not. Now, let me talk about the mistakes that I have made over time in the AI investing journey. So if I talk about the stocks that I have selected using AI, they might not be as bad as their performance is, right? But so I had not done research about one of these stocks for which you can see that my portfolio is down by about 20% in this particular account. The stock is Vikram Solar. What was the mistake that I made? I made the mistake of not researching much about it. It had got listed on August 19th, but there was a lock-in period for the promoters. The lock-in period ensures that the promoters just do not dump their shares and leave after an IPO comes. This acts as an investor protection. Additionally, what has happened with Vikram Solar is the promoters have pledged their stocks in order to raise some money. But inherently, is it a bad company? Till now, I do not think so. I believe that this will recover in time. Do not take my word as financial advice. This is just me using AI to make investment decisions. So I did make a mistake. I am guilty of it. But let's see where it takes me. With this, I would like to sum up today's video. I hope you learn from the mistakes that I have made. In the next video, I am going to show you something cool that I am building that will help me avoid the mistakes that I have made in, this, in these purchases. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.